Firefighting planes drop retardant. The super tanker drops Jaws. The huge rare bird was a one-act air show everywhere it went. There's a lot of emotion attached to these kind of aircraft. They come across as the savior during these large, devastating fires. For perspective on the 747 tanker, we went to someone who hired it. Chief Kem Pimlot led Cal Fire for eight years. He was a fan of the super tanker, but like any firefighting airplane, he says, people often think it plays a bigger role than it does. It's sexier than bulldozers and chainsaws. Way. <laughs> it's, it's, it is. It, aircraft have always garnered uh, you know, lots of attention, and, uh, and, and they have their place, and they are extremely valuable, but what gets forgotten are the men and women on the ground that are cutting the fire line. Planes do help ground crews by buying them more time, and in some cases, the super tanker could do jobs other planes couldn't. Is California worse off because this airplane goes away? Well, certainly any time you lose a resource like that, you're not going to have the same level of, of protection. Pimlot loved the super tanker because it could take off from Sacramento and drop retardant almost anywhere in the state in about 45 minutes. And it could lay down miles of that retardant more quickly than other planes. But on most fires, he says, you don't need miles of retardant. You don't send the 747. It's not an all-purpose plane. It's not. It's certainly a very expensive and requires a lot of logistics to operate. The real issue at hand here is not that the 747 is a bad tool. It absolutely has value in the right circumstances. The biggest challenge is the cost. It, the costs are so extreme to operate. Well, it's not just California that will be missing out. Dan Reese, president of the super tanker company, says his plane took some of the burden off the rest of the firefighting planes in the nation and the world. But it's been a work in progress. The plane's owners spent a lot to refine it, and firefighting agencies still have a hard time justifying the cost. It's enough money to hire several planes that aren't quite so big. Well, in short, the aircraft will have to be uh, bought by another investor who wants to continue um, what the aircraft is capable of. If that doesn't happen, Chief Pimlot says it doesn't mean certain danger. It just means we'll need other planes and more planning to help crews on the ground. We can find ways to compensate for the loss of the 747. We could never compensate for the loss of bulldozers and chainsaws. Yeah, absolutely.